Hey loves, welcome back to another makeup tutorial. Today's video, I will start off using the P. Louise base in shade number 2 to apply as the base for my eyeshadow. And I definitely love the formula and the thickness of this base. It's amazing. A little goes a long way. And it literally hold the eyeshadow in place and it blended the eyeshadow in perfection. I definitely loved it. So I just go ahead and use my finger and then my brush. And moving on to the 3503 Morphe palette, I'm going to take this nice berry um, shade in the palette. And oh my god, I'm obsessed with this shade. It blended so nicely and there was no fallout. I don't even know if it was the base or the formula of the eyeshadow, but both were amazing. I'm also going to take this like walnut or chestnut type of eyeshadow and um, blend it all over the crease area as well but lower than the pink shade or the berry shade that I just applied. I definitely loved the, how both of them blend together. It was so amazing how the formula or the pigmentation of them were working together which was my favorite. It wasn't even so hard to blend. It was super easy. So my god. I'm obsessed with this palette and I don't know how many times I will be saying that throughout the video so bear with me but then I'll take this black shade which is super super pigmented a little goes a long way I had to take another brush to blend it out because it was that pigmented and there was less fallout so to cut my crease I'm using the color pop in the shade number 10 to create like a random cut crease and then I'm just going to use this hot pink in the palette, one of my favorite, and it was so pigmented. Like I just kept packing it on and the color was there, it's amazing. And I'm gonna focus that in the middle section towards the outer corner of my eyelid. And then next, I'm just going to move on with this beautiful orange shade in the palette. I love this shade. And I'm just going to blend it right next to the pink and focus this to the inner corner of my eye and just leave it with the pink as well. And we're going to create like an ombre look. And I decided to play with the green in the palette, which is my favorite, which actually got me to buy this palette. And I'm just going to put this in the inner corner of my eye and mix it with the orange. And then I'm going to use this glitter liner from NYX and create a little cut crease with that and give it a little bit pop of a glam. One of my favorites. Like always, I like using my NYX liquid liner and I'm just gonna create a small but like thick wing liner if that makes any sense. And um, after I apply the liner, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to mascara. And I always like to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And then these lashes I got from Wish. I just love these ones. They're very light and easy to apply. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use the same shades I applied earlier for the lower waterline or lash line there. And create a little smoky effect underneath there. I decided to add the green to the inner corner just to make it a little pop out and then I'm going to use this Morphe gel liner and put this in my waterline and it's so pigmented. Definitely love this gel liner. So much better than the e.l.f. one I was using for the other tutorials because I just ordered this like a while ago and it finally came. And then I always like using my skinny AOA underlash mascara for my tiny little um lashes that i have underneath there they're so sad and then to highlight my brows i'm going to use this ofra highlighting palette and i'm going to just take the fourth shade and put this for my under eyebrow highlight and there you guys have it this look was super easy super simple and i hope you guys love it and i'll see you guys next time bye